Good afternoon, Chuck here in Tapanom, busy Tapanom, Thailand on this Saturday afternoon. It's the end of May 2021 and things are looking brighter here in Thailand. I think people are going to start coming in as tourists pretty soon. So while, we're, while we still have some time at home uh, to save our money, to think about what we're going to do on our vacation time here, I thought I'd put this video together to help you guys before you start to come to Thailand. So what I want to share with you today is some basic pre-Thailand greetings, explaining some cultural indifferences, and maybe some words, about five words that I think you should probably know prior to coming. And also, at the end of this video, we're going to head to our friend Mamu's house and we're going to have some dinner over there and we'll talk a little bit about food etiquette or eating etiquette or what to expect when eating in Thailand because eating is a, a very important thing everywhere in the world I think. <laughs> Before we start today's video I want to share with you guys the most important thing in Thailand and that is to always be friendly and smile. Reason being is because Thailand is known for the land of smiles and it got that name because most Thai people smile about everything. So when they're unsure about things or when something negative happens, a lot of times they just smile. Uh, when they don't quite understand something, they, they just smile and they kind of expect you to smile back. So we, there's going to be a lot of confusion in Thailand and there's always confusion in Thailand. So the best thing to do is just smile it off and try again later. <laughs> smile. Smile is the most important thing to remember in Thailand. Smile. First thing I want to teach you guys is how to properly why. Now before we do this, we'll get somebody to help us do this here in a minute. But I want you guys to understand, as a foreigner, Thai people really don't expect you to understand their culture or know everything. And they don't expect you to be able to speak Thai. They just expect you to be friendly and have a good time. So if you guys can speak Thai or understand Thai culture or why it's always a surprise to them to hear a foreigner say something in Thai or show respect and you usually get a very good outcome from that but all that being said don't worry so much about trying to figure out when to why how to why who to why to what do you do when somebody whys to you don't worry too much about that because uh it's going to get too complicated, but we'll go over to a friend of mine's house and uh, see if they can't teach us some Thai Y. Okay, we're at my Thai teacher's, uh, this isn't really her classroom, but I'm at her house and she's going to show us a couple of examples on how to properly Y in Thailand. What is the proper way to Y? How, how to, for example, uh, for example, in Thai, when you saw this the first time, uh -huh. you say "สวัสดีค่ะ." Okay. You use your hand here. Okay. But the uh, if you think the same, you are aged. Uh -huh. Why you "สวัสดีค่ะ"? And then the that person the answer to you same did. Uh -huh. And for the children, สำหรับเด็ก you put a hand here. And um the children put a head here and you order then the children only not your head so okay for example uh -huh. the, the children do this so very this. good so very good so or so you order then right. them correct you only not your head head a little okay. and say answer so or so okay now for older elderly people yeah for order, you not your head, you put a hand here, and then you do this, a little bit. Okay. Yes. And for the monk, for or the loyalty, you use the hand here, and you use the note put here. Like okay. lower than okay. 
uh, normal people using. So you should never put your hand here? Yes, okay. here and not okay. a lot. Okay, okay, very good. So if I meet my girlfriend's uh, parents, mom and dad, how do I, how do I say to you them? So I'd be cop. Okay, very good. You guys got that? Very awesome. Next thing I want to talk about is a simple hello. What do you have? Cops, what do you have? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's very important to say hello when you greet somebody. Now, Thai people, Thai in Thai culture, like in the Western culture, we, we have small talk, like we say, oh, today's beautiful. Oh, it looks like it's gonna rain. Oh, did you hear the hur there's a hurricane coming? <laughs> but in Thai culture, it's a little bit different. They, I wanna tell you, in a conversation, a normal conversation in Thai, they're usually always just talking about food. <laughs> anyway, so. So what did on chow? I got lawn, cup. So how to greet somebody in Thai? So when they see a foreigner, Thai, pe Thai people, they know how to say quite a few words in English, but a lot of them are too shy to try to have a conversation. But they love to try to interact with foreigners as best as they can. So it is completely okay as a foreigner just to say, hello, how are you? Good morning. ให้เราอันให้เรากดซ่อมยูทูบล่างเอ้ยนี่ก็เห็ดบ่เป็นเรียบร้อยบ่อยู่นะโอเคลูกอยู่ไหนลูกสาวอยู่บ้านวันนี
very difficult to try to share because like a lot of my people from Europe, they, they say things with a different accent and they hear things differently, I guess. So, so what the crap is more in English, like a K-O-P, so what the crap. And if you're a female, you want to say ka, so what the ha. Females always say ka. So how I remember this word at the beginning was, so what the crap? <laughs> so what the crap? That was, I don't know, I had to try to think of something I could relate to to try to remember this word. But I, if you write it on your hand and you practice all the time, but ask a Thai person how to say it and listen to it and then write it down exactly how you hear it so that you can say it properly. So what do you put up? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> วันนี้สบายดีมั้ยอันบอกไทยเค้าบอกไทยอ่าสบายดีทุกวันมั้ยครับสบายดีทุกวันมั้ยครับสบายดีทุกวันมั้ยครับสบายดีทุกวันมั
and a whole general conversation, but they can pick up kind of what they're saying. So my father-in-law is going to work. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is some do's and don'ts in Thailand. Uh, the first thing, don't complain. It doesn't do any good in Thailand. I know a lot of people, a lot of foreigners that I have met, I think by nature they have to, I think they think that they're doing the person or the place a favor by letting them know their dissatisfactions, which is totally acceptable in the West. But in Thailand, it doesn't always mean anything to anybody. Just kind of you get a feel good moment and the guy's like, okay, if you don't like it, then, then go. They don't really want to know. They don't really, they don't really know how to respond to you if you don't like the meal. If it's not what you ordered, then you know you can say something, but it's better to just say, well, I don't know, I've never tried this before, let's give it a try. Unless it's something that you're allergic to or you can't eat spicy, right? But complaining about price, complaining about the food quality, complaining about your expectations, it won't take you anywhere in Thailand. So the best thing to do is just brush it off and smile and enjoy the experience and move on. <laughs> tipping in Thailand, a lot of people ask me about. I know in some countries, tipping is not anything that they're used to doing, period. And in Thai culture, tipping is not common with Thai people. Does it happen? Of course it happens. Uh, but it's not typically common for Thai people. And Thai people do complain a lot, by the way. Not just foreigners. So, but I'm just telling you, it doesn't go very far to complain in Thailand because there's many options. <laughs> However, tipping, there's, and in, in like in the US, we have like a 20, like they demand the tip on the bill. Like there's a, you know, you sign here, five, 10, 15, 20 or whatever. 20% is like the standard. But uh, in Thailand, they, they get paid a certain amount of, amount of money no matter what. But if you're in a restaurant, typically the whole staff gets to share the tips. And you won't see anybody put it in your pocket. That being said, if you want to tip an individual, make sure you don't put it in the thing. Make sure you hand it to that person. Put it in their pocket if possible. Say, this is for you, okay? But also it'd be good if you could share a little bit with the staff too. So anyway, my rule of thumb typically on a standard meal with a couple of beers, a hundred baht goes a long way in Thailand because a lot of times that staff is only working for three or four hundred baht a day. And that, that's roughly about $12 a day is what they're making. So if you give them an extra hundred baht, that goes a long way in Thailand, a very long way. And it makes for a more pleasant experience. I don't know about you guys, but when I go somewhere, I want to go, oh, hey, there, there's Chucky. You know, they're glad to see me. I don't, oh, here comes that cheap bastard who doesn't want to spend three US dollars to tip somebody, right? <laughs> If it's something small, you don't have to tip anything. If they're not doing anything, like a self-serve type place, of course no tip. But if the girl's checking on you or the guy and they're filling up your glass and they're being attentive, give them a little bit of a tip. It'll just make your life easier and you get to help somebody out. But even if you tip 20 baht, you'll see the same smile on their face. Uh, it's, it's amazing. They're very gracious people leave a tip as far as any more don'ts I'm just gonna say don't be a jackass in Thailand you know don't don't try to be above everybody else don't always think that somebody's uh, talking about you because you're gonna hear the word falang a lot it may not necessarily mean anything about you but uh the they like to use descriptive words in Thailand where they call foreigners phalangs or old women or children or bro they, they like to describe people before they state their name or, or their position uh, in the family, their position in society. Anyway, 
don't try to be above everybody and uh, if if you do you're gonna just make your time horrible in thailand just smile it off and move along go to the next don't always try to negotiate prices okay because a lot of times people think oh well foreigners get ripped off because i'm a foreigner well take a look next time you come most everything has price tags everywhere uh, it's it's pretty common if you don't see a price tag then just go somewhere else whether it's a food vendor a shop selling clothes or whatever little knickknacks you'll usually see a price okay i'll tell you where a lot of confusion is a lot of confusion is because people don't they misunderstand somebody or they think they understand and it's not what they meant but like shirts for instance you'll see a shirt for a hundred baht and then the foreigner goes oh i'd like to have this shirt and then when you get the shirt it's like 200 baht or a standard's like 150 baht and they're like why are you charging me 150 when the sign says 100 well because the size the mater extra material is 50 more baht it doesn't matter where you come from if you're a 3x it's more money than the, the the large or the medium anything over large is usually a more price bigger price that's just the way it is in thailand same with shoes and that's kind of weird with shoes because where we come from like this unless it's like a 15 or something really like size 12 to 7 or 6 is all really the same price here it's the it's different there's a lot of do's and don'ts in thailand so we're not going to run through them all just be courteous, treat people how you want to be treated, and uh, enjoy your time. And try to learn something. Don't always, don't try to expect that you know everything or you got it figured out, because every circumstance is going to be different, even what I'm telling you today. So, okay, let's do some basic words. Five words today that I want you to try to write down on a piece of paper. And I'm gonna to try to say them. If you've got a Thai friend or a Thai wife or a Thai girlfriend, ask them so they can you can hear it better from them and write it down. But our, we're gonna do five words today, and these are I think some very important words while you're in Thailand. Our first word is thank you. Our very first word is at the beginning of this video, hello. But our first word out of these five is thank you. Thank you. Kap kun kap. Kap kun krap. Easy to say kap kun kap. And uh, that means thank you. So what I recommend you do a more polite way is add the word na. N-A-A. Kap kun na kap. Kap kun na kap is a more polite way to say thank you. Oh, kap kun na kap. Or if it's something like a, a, an adult, you'll see when you're at the cash register and you're handing a Thai person money, they're, they're also not just thanking you for the money, but you've got their king on their dollar, so the out of respect they go and then they take the money. So it kind of means two different things. It's acceptable for you to go like that also is a why or you can just kind of go back like that but you'll watch other Thai people typically they don't do anything so but I always I mean I got my hands full usually my wallet or something so I'll just you know <laughs> I don't know what to do so sometimes I got too much going on or you can just say a simple word like ka home ka home means it's kind of like really polite like yes sir yes ma'am ka home ka home but is really what you need to say when somebody gives you something. Uh, thank you. I got a list there. I'm trying to remember everything here. Okay, one more word because you guys are going to do some shopping here. And a lot of this is for people that live here already. As I've met a lot of people that don't speak any Thai, so maybe these five words will help you. It's very important to say the word properly too, but you can put your kap kun kap and they understand what you're saying. Next word is, how much is this? How much is this? So 
before I tell you, you know, pointing, I know a lot of people don't like pointing, they get so angry. You can point to things and, you know, I, I want some water, I want, you know, I want to eat that, you know, that, yeah, that's how a lot of people get by in Thailand. But you can always say um, a basic speaking language word is uh, Tao Kap, you point like to a shirt, Tao Dai Kap. But the proper way to say it is a uh, price tag. The price tag is laka, laka, laka tao dai na ka, laka tao dai. You see, I put the word na in there. Laka tao dai na ka is how much? What is the is what is the price of this? Or you can say ni laka tao dai na ka means what is the price of this? Ni means this. Ni laka tao dai na ka. What is the price of this? Raka tao dai ka. Oh, oh crap. crap. Or um, how much is this? Ni ni. You'd be the thing when you asking some the price. Uh -huh. You say, "An ni or this one? Uh -huh. An ni raka tao rai ka?" Okay, very good. Now, they're gonna. If you say it perfectly, they might spout out, "Oh, you put pasa Thai king," and blah, 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 blah. you'd be like, "I don't know what you're saying." But most Thai people can say numbers in English so that shouldn't be a big problem in touristy areas so they'll tell you 200 baht 100 baht but it's important also if you could take the time to learn uh, Thai currency or Thai number system it's not really that difficult but kind of the basics you can learn like 100 baht is nung loi baht what get confusing is if they could say loi diao means the same thing but anyway don't don't get all wrapped up into that tao dai na kap the basic tao dai na kap or ni la ka tao dai na kap next one okay the next one's going to be really two words like and dislike or like and not like so if somebody asks you like you know, do you want a Chong beer? You'll say, <laughs> the right response would be, my top. <laughs> I don't like, my top, my top. I don't like, pom, my top. I do not like, pom, pom, my top. Pom, my top. I don't like, my top. Chop, kind of like C-H-O-P or C-H-O-A-P. Chop, chop. Pom, my top. <laughs> My top, my top. Uh, if somebody hands you a chili pepper, you go, oh, my top, my top. Basic words. Now, I know people are typing, oh, you can say this and you can say that. There's a lot of words in any language that you can say uh, that means the same thing, okay? But I can't, we can't cover every single one of them. Please leave a comment below and you can share your experiences or maybe share some other words later on for people to read over. But to not like, Pom my top. Kin my dai means I can't eat. I don't. I don't like it. I can't eat it. Nah. Pom my top. Kin my dai. If you can learn to say a complete sentence, also, it also helps them to understand that you're actually speaking Thai. Because your tone's going to be a little off, and they'll be like, I don't know if this guy might be speaking Italian. I have no idea what he's saying. My top. Now to say I like, oh, pom chop, pom chop. I like, pom is I, pom, 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 kind of like poem, but pom, pom chop, pom chop. Like, chop, and don't like. My chop. I like, I like. Pom chop bia, beer is bia. <laughs> pom chop bia. Pom chop ahan Thai. I like Thai food. Next. Number four is want and don't want. Similar to like and not like, but want and don't want. There's a couple things to remember with the word want. It kind of depends on where you're at and what you're asking for. If you're in a restaurant, the word is call, call. Call means to, like, can I have? Call, call nam, nam pao, ka. Call nam pao. I want some 
plain water. Call, call. But what you'll hear normally in speaking language, and it's okay, because they're not going to expect you to be able to know everything about Thai language. The easiest one to remember is ow, ow. Like, like ow, ow. Home ow, ow. Ow means want, 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 want. Ow, ow. Home ow, I want. Uh, it's a little rude if you know how to speak Thai to say, Pom ao bia, ao bia, I want a beer, I want beer. <laughs> um, you would say more like, ka uh, ka bia kap. Something more polite like that, but ao, ao means want. Um, like if you're, you see a shirt and, and she says, you say, uh, na kap, and she says, loi bot. You can just say, oh, ao kap. It's always good to end with cop. You can say ka home, which would make which would make you a superstar. Ao ka home means yes ma'am or yes sir. But you can say ao cop, ao cop, uh, I want. And that's basically okay. Kind of remember that in Thai language they kind of speak a little bit like Neanderthals. <laughs> so it's not like a com we say our sentences are so complex. Uh, versus a Thai sentence. So, uh, ao hop, I want. I want that. Basic. My ao, my, my ao, my ao, my means no. My in front of a sentence means no. My ao hop, uh, my ao, my top, my, my put in front of a word is no. My ao, my top. Marigin, I didn't hear. Marigin, my you, I'm not hungry. Uh, the, I don't know, there's, I don't want to confuse you, but uh, my owl, I don't want. Want and don't want. Tong kan. My owl. My tong kan. Oh, my tong kan. Uh, two way for using. Uh -huh. uh, the language for speaking, you can say my owl. Right, just or our our crap for the writing languages so, so different a little bit. You say, "My don't can crap, or my our crap, or my yak die crap, something like that." Okay. My top, I don't like. Ow. <laughs> Next word. I know you're already confused. Another word to remember is it's always polite. If you like the food, and chances are you will, is to say the word tasty, aloy. Or the correct speaking version or central Thai is aroi, aroi. You kind of roll your R a little bit, aroi. Aroi mak ka. Aroi mak ka. Very tasty, aroi mak ka. Aroi mak mak. Aroi mak mak. Very, very Double. tasty. <laughs> Texans aren't really good at all that fancy talk <laughs> unless you're unless you're spanish texan or mexican but uh aroi 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 cop they'll say aroi mai which is kind of like my aroi which means not tasty but if you put it at the end aroi mai that becomes a question so aroi mai and your response is going to be Either my aroi, which I would try to keep that to yourself, or I would just say aroi hop, which means tasty. Aroi hop. Or you can just, when she's giving you the bill and you like everything and you're giving her a hundred baht, you could just say aroi mak hop, aroi mak. Mak means uh, very tasty. Aroi mak. Aroi mak na hop. You don't have to say that, but anytime you put na in there before the cop, it's more polite. Aroi ma cop, aroi, aroi is tasty. Anyway, those are the five words I think you should remember. We'll do another five words uh, later on. You guys give me some feedback in the comment section. Let me know if this is something you want to help, want help with in the future on some future videos or even if this helps you at all. Or if you have some other suggestions on some words that you would like to learn, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to do that on a future video. But next, what we're gonna do is this evening, we're gonna go to Mamu's. I know this is a long video, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do some, uh, 
feeding etiquette piece on style and I'll explain that to you in a little bit here at Namu's house. Hey, I did 10 kilometers on the elliptical. Me and Paige walked 5K this morning. I had a little bit of a breakfast taco this morning and I ate my sticky rice with, I don't know what that was that I bought from that guy this morning. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> I'm I'm, I have a, uh, I'm trying to lose a little bit of ounces <laughs> before our next beach trip. Anyway, let's head to Mamou's. It's really her shop and she's got a meal prepared for us. Now, a typical family meal involves laughter, smiling, awesome food, and usually an alcoholic beverage. So if you don't want to watch that or that offends you, then go ahead and turn it off now. But you may not want to watch Thailand videos anyway, because there's a lot of things in Thailand that could possibly offend you if you're sensitive to things. So anyway, let's go to uh, Mamu's house. It's nobody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> sang song, sang song rum, and an awesome table full of food. We've got lap mu, pla tot, lap mu and pla tot, and sang song with sikki. I'm just gonna show you a quick few things about eating. So in Thai, they use a fork and a spoon, and they use the fork to to kind of shovel it in the spoon. And that's it. Mm. Now I'm going to tell you this, in a lot of cultures, like, they eat with their hands, or they have a central plate and people eat off of the same plate. Um, double dip, as you can say. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, ooh, double dip with the spoon, but if this bothers you in any country you go, just get your plate and put as much food that you want to eat on your plate beforehand, and you shouldn't have a problem. But that being said, I guarantee every one of us have probably ended the night like making out with a complete stranger, you know, so... I don't think it's going to kill you. I, I think that uh, they've been doing it for a long time. I've been here five years. I haven't. I haven't gotten. Uh, I don't know. It's it's going to be okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't pick your teeth at the table. It's very rude to use a toothpick. Thai people usually hide their toothpick when they're picking their teeth, and don't blow your nose. I know if you're eating like. A Thai chili pepper, and they're extremely hot. And in a minute, it's going to make your nose start running. Excuse yourself from the table, and then go blow your nose somewhere. You know, or there's, I guess, if you can, in another room. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's basically about it. Just. Take a lot of selfies. Enjoy the evening. Hang on. <laughs> and have a great evening. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button below. Also, subscribe. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, let me know in the description box. Uh, I'd like to share a lot more things all about Thailand with you if you want. So anyway, let me know below and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Kumau. I really appreciate that. We'll see you guys. Thank you. Yeah, we'll bye see you in the next video. <laughs>